Oval. So guys, let's go and start my favorite episode. Here we go. We got the message late one Saturday night. Dimitri was calling in the favor I promised him back in Holland. Heh, <laughs> greasy sweet 11. He gone ahead and booked the whole team passage under assumed identities to none other than Blood Bath Bay. Easily the most lawless town on earth. It's home to a group of cultural hermits who doggedly maintain the ways of their pirate forefathers. The cruise over gave us some time to get the rundown from Dimitri. I guess his grandfather, Remy Lestow, was a pioneer in deep sea diving. He'd made a fortune looting undersea wrecks. Sweet. Although his luck ran short when a young cutthroat by the name of Black Spot Pete stole not only his loot, but his precious diving gear as well. A broken man, Remy retired from treasure hunting and eventually started a family. <laughs> Dimitri, growing up on his grandfather's stories, dreamed of one day recovering the gear. So that was our task. We've been called in to get our hands on this miraculous diving equipment. Not all bad, really. If things go our way, the team might get a frogman out of the deal, which Bentley figures will be a big help cracking the Cooper box. God, look That's at Murray. Always thinking. <laughs> God, this is so weird. Alright, Sly Cooper and the gang in. Dead men tell no tales. Probably the best mission ever, or best over ep episode in the entire trilogy of games. I have no clue what I said there. <laughs> I couldn't talk for a second. Oh, there we go, guys. We're going to start off as Sly here. <clears throat> and we're going to be in Bloodbath Bay, the Caribbean Sea. Alright, guys. Let's kill this first enemy. And jump up here. Oh, crap. So our first mission is going to be the Talk of Pirates, which is the best mission in the game. Mainly because of, uh, like how you can pick and choose what you want to say to Black Spot Pete. Oh, crap. Damn it. Yeah, I really suck at, like, getting around, too. Like, getting around this level. So here we go, guys, the Talk of Pirates. There he is, Black Spot Pete. I didn't think pirates could get that old. Thought scurvy would get him or something. Don't huh. lower your guard for an instant. All pirates are killers. Plain as that. And they don't trust outsiders at all. How's your pirate accent? Arr, I forgot me number two pencil for the Scantron test. Scantron. Joke all you want, but that guy won't help us out until you've earned his trust. Oh my god, it's funny because I actually have those Scantron things in school. <laughs> god, I finally got what that joke was. All right, here we go. We're gonna talk to Black Spot Pete. Black Spot Pete, I've come to talk of treasure, a subject I hear you're familiar with. Treasure, I, but I will channel with the likes of you. So blessed the subject. Get out of me sight, landlubber. Oh, like years I wouldn't be spoke of the gold and kindness with me partner, can tank of a steel. Maybe we can work out a bargain. Shut your mouth, whole lover. I'll cock it and be cutless. Hard on the tonsils, I assure you. Sorry if you guys heard any noise in the background, too. Uh. Yeah, here we go. Salt of the earth, that black spot, Pete. It's clear to get anywhere with the old coot. We'll need to fool him into thinking that you're cantankerous, Tim. What happened to Tim anyway? His lieutenants mutinied on the old guy and divided the plunder, including his captain's outfit. This is the only real pirate town left. They must be around here somewhere. You're right. That's Stone Jake. Toughest guy you'll ever be. He took the eye patch. Hmm. Tough enough to take an anchor dropped on his head? Good plan. That'll do the job, matey. Alright, so Stone Pete basically took the eye patch off of Tim. If you whack the palm trees, he's sure to come running. Perfect for luring him under the anchor. What? Alright, so we basically took the eye patch off of him and we're gonna get it back now. And I have no clue where he's going. 
Oh, he's going this way. Keep running, keep running. Yeah, and this this mission's really easy. I love the part when they talk pirate. Go, go, go. Shit. I think that's Tim, too. Damn it. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Goddamn cannonballs. Damn it. I had a perfect shot there, too. Keep going, keep going. Go. Come on, come on, come on. And yes, take that. <laughs> Alright, guys, we got the eye patch from uh, Stone Jake, so let's go back here. And yeah, so after that mission, uh, now we're gonna go and get another piece of the Tim, like, uniform or whatever. And it's all the way over there. We're actually gonna get the peg leg now. Which is a really cool part. So let's go here. Shit. Come on, keep going. There we go. <clears throat> Peg leg? Seriously? Isn't that kind of harsh? <laughs> no kidding. I'll have to pick them off one by one. Shouldn't be a problem. Alright, so now we're gonna take out these uh, bodyguards. Let's wait for them to turn around real quick. Keep going, there you go. Ah, oh, damn it. Hide, hide, hide. And there we go. So yeah, that was pretty simple right there, actually. Hide under the table. Ah, okay. oh, shit. Sneak up behind him and pick the screws from his peg leg. Yeah, so right now, uh, now that we got all the guards taken care of, all the bodyguards, we're gonna get him now. Right there. Damn it. I forgot we needed to do it, like, another time. Come on, come on. One, two, and three. There we go. <laughs> that was pretty harsh right there. We took off his leg. So yeah, now we gotta go and uh, get Twitchy Ned, and pretty much he's like a paranoid dog, pretty much, and all we need to do is take off his uh, hat, I and mean, this is actually a really long chase here, so just be careful here, guys. Here he is. Alright, and like I said, he's gonna run over here. And since I've beaten this mission like 50, 100 times, I already know where he's gonna run. So let's just wait for him. <laughs> That's pretty sad that you know where he's gonna run, bastard. I wish you could kill him. I don't like Twitchy Ned. He's crazy. Just keep walking. And he is gonna try to drop different things on you. So, gotta be careful. Watch out for the anchor. Keep going. And you do eventually meet up with him at the, uh... The big boat that's in the level. And it's coming up very sh shortly, too. Here's the part I was talking about. Here he is. If this is your first time ever playing this game, 
this part can seem really challenging. Let's just go up here. He's walking the plank. And look, he's right by Black Spot Pete. It's kind of ironic. <laughs> ah, damn it, where are you? Here he is. Okay, we almost got it. Keep going, keep going. And... Here we go. Avast there. You've got me with me back to the sea. I yield. I just wanted your hat. Me hat? That's what this be about. Take the moldy cut of cloth and away with you. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much that was all for his hat. And there he goes. He's off. Alright, so now let's go and finally talk to Black Spot Pete. And we will have to uh, equip the pirate disguise. And I'm gonna equip it with. Let's see. Let's do uh, L1. There we go. Alright, here's the best part of the game, guys. I love this part. Not to be rude, but let's talk of treasure. Arr. <laughs> How about a round of vinegar talk first, you baboon face toilet? I've read about this, Sly. It's customary for pirates to engage in insult competitions. Just make sure you never repeat anything that's already been said. You take the first broadside, shipmate. Alright, pig breath, grog abusing swabber. You're a pig breath. Grog abusing. Dramatic pause. Swabber. That be true enough, but you're a pin headed, seaweed slurping cabin boy. Alright, mumbling, uh, knuckle dragging, anchor head. <laughs> God. You're a mumbling, knuckle dragging, anchor head. <laughs> <laughs> but methinks you're a. Marooned, clam tongued, waste of skin. <laughs> uh, idiotic, cross eyed cow pie. <laughs> God. Oh, yeah. You're an idiotic, cross eyed cow pie. <laughs> ah, God, this like is messed child. up. You're a stupid, scurvy ridden <laughs> bag of vomit. Oh, my God, this is stupid. She brain. Uh,. Killer bellied whale fart. <laughs> you are a sheep brained, yellow bellied whale fart. Let me try God's up messed up. You. <laughs> Bleeding barnacle backed sack of maggots. Uh, let's do blathering, toothless, oh uh, crap, piece of filth. Oh, really? You're a Blathering, toothless piece of filth. Ha <laughs> ha, cantankerous. There we go. Must be you to give this old sea dog and his sunburnt eyes for not recognizing you straight away. I've never met a man on land or sea that could curse half as well. Tell me, shipmate, why after so long away do you drop anchor now? I've come for me share of the treasure we stole years back from that Rame Lousteau fella. Was a good haul, that. Uh, speak of it while drunk. Oh, <laughs> you <laughs> burying the loot in the belly of Dagger Isle. Oh, and many a year I kept the map to the treasure hidden, safe as a swaddling babe. God. Arr, then let's have it. High time we dug up our retirement and lived as lords. It shames me fierce to tell you, shipmate, but I lost my galleon in a game of cards. And worse yet, the map was stolen by that terror, Captain Lefouille. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I have run him through with my cutlass before giving up so treasured a parchment. God, Sly's he terrible at the accents. No ordinary buccaneer, no. He's earned the reputation as the smartest man of the seven seas. The devil lives in yonder keep. Tis there you'll find the map, and your death as well. 
If you go for the treasure ship, mate, you go alone. Missy Ferranti is alone behind me. Thank you, Pete. You've been a good friend. Aye, and you're still a skinny malodor, still a skinny malodor.